Remember those hive hangers that I hated in the last video? Well, Spencer Brennan gave me an idea. I cut them down, took about three inches off, and I notched them out so the frames sit closer to the box and they won't slide off. Thanks, Spencer. All right, it's 92 degrees and humid. I'm gonna check on the big hives. All right, I lied. We are gonna check the big hives. First, let's have a look at the little medium split here and see if that queen cell has emerged and see what's going on in here. Last I left this hive, they, uh, they had a big, a nice big queen cell. Population is not exploding, although it is the middle hottest part of the day, so queen cell was, I don't even remember where the queen cell was. Cap and honey, a lot of pollen. This was a queenless split, so they had a really nice big queen cup here last time I checked. All pollen down here. Pollen and bee bread, they're stocked up, that's for sure. Super heavy frame. Wow, that is all honey. They are making space. There's sort of a cleared pattern here for laying, but I don't see eggs in here. Looking for a queen. I do not see eggs. So I'm not sure if we are in the midst of waiting for a mated queen to come back or if a mated queen didn't make it back. But it's only been two weeks since I saw the cell, so uh, B Math tells us that she could just be out on a mating flight. Just gonna wait. Wait, wait. That's always the answer with bees, right? Just wait. They seem very mellow. They're not defensive. I hardly used any smoke and they're just totally chill. So, all right, closing them up. Let's do the Russians and get it over with. Let's see if they put any stores up in the, uh, in the super. Two weeks since the last time I opened up this hive. Yeah. There's so many bees up here, but they're doing nothing with these frames. They just don't, they don't want them. They don't care. A lot of people have been suggesting just take the excluder off. Yeah, they're they're just using this as a super. They're not they're not going up. This hive is so aggressive. I mean, look at that brood pattern. If the bees weren't so pissy. I would love this hive. But they're they're just these bees are a holes. I think what I'm going to do is just leave the uh, queen excluder off. See if they come up because there's a lot of peas in this hive. Like, it's just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Super with no queen excluder. See what they do. They gotta reorganize this hive. It's, they're packed. All right, super, no excluder. Go crazy, bees. You're on your own. All right, new package. Installed in April, split two times in May, and then supered around June 19th or so, June 20th. See what they've done with the super. Just hanging out, foundationless. Just checking it out. Put one drawn frame up here to get them sort of get them started. Yeah, they haven't put any honey in it. Just cleaning it up. There's a little bit of nectar in here. I might do the same thing here, just take the excluder off for a couple weeks. Is that just heavy or is it stuck? Oh my God. This thing is full of honey. Holy cow. This thing is completely full. Holy cow. That thing has to weigh over 50 pounds. I don't think I've ever felt an eight frame box that heavy before. A lot of drone cells on this frame. Tons of drones over here. I need to split this hive again. Look at that. New package queen, definitely outperforming Balboa. This hive's about to explode. 
There she is. Look at that frame. This hive is so slamming. There's no sign of them slowing down. This is the heaviest box I've ever felt. Right here. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put them back on with no excluder. Because maybe they, they want to just move, start moving some of this up. Making some room to lay. No excluder. Alright, that's uh... That is freaking crazy. Alright, that is absolutely the strongest hive I've ever seen. I wonder if there'll be a running theme here and there'll, there'll be a need to take off the excluder on Balboa. So the thing with Balboa is I put I put some frames that were already that already had resources in them up here when I made that triple split a few weeks back. So there were already some frames of honey and brood up here, and that stuff came from the bottom of the original hive, the the mediums. So let's just see what they're doing up here with the super. So Balboa, look at that. Perfectly capped. Ho, 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 ho. Balboa. That is a perfect frame of honey right there. Absolutely perfect. Both sides entirely capped. Woohoo! This is all capped. Holy cap. I need to go get another super. This is capped right across. <laughs> this is all honey. It's capped honey, folks. Straight across. Yeah, they need another super right away. Okay, I got another eight frame medium super. I'm gonna put it underneath this super, but I wanna go down and look into the main brood box. It's full of eggs. I mean, it's just, it's just packed. Eggs and larvae. I wanna make more splits. This is a splitty frame right here. Unbelievable. It's a good year for bees at the Vino Farm, folks. Just amazing. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of shocked. They're a little honey bound. They're, uh, they're filling all of the uh, emerged brood with, with nectar. I'm a little concerned now about swarming. Every frame. Every frame is brood and larva. And, and every space is uh, nectar. All right, I need to do something here. All right, folks, you see that over there? You know what that is? That's a resource hive. This is an emergency situation. All right, this hive is overflowing. There is uh, no space to lay. Uh, this is a frame filled with eggs and larva that I'm gonna put into a resource hive. I want to make sure Balboa is not on this frame. This frame is going into a resource hive. All right, there's nectar and pollen on this frame, capped honey. There's a little bit of brood to emerge, not a ton. I do not see a queen on it. That's going to go in there as a resource frame. I need a frame of capped brood. That looks like capped brood. I would like to see Balboa. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's right here on this frame. She's right there on the edge. So, the queen is here. She's gonna get some empty frames. Right here in the middle of the box. Okay, she's right here. And one more. She is up here. Let's just check the bottom, see if there's any space down there. I need one more frame for the resource hive. Pollen and nectar, yeah, they're, they're just running out of space to lay. They really needed another super about a week ago. And that was my fault, because I, uh, I didn't think we were in a huge flow at the time. So I only gave them one medium super. I could have given them two. Yeah, eggs and nectar. 
I need one more like drawn out frame. Brood and pollen. Jeez, this hive is insane. It's just pollen and nectar like crazy. All right, what do I do? I'm gonna take a nectar pollen frame. Okay, there's a few eggs in this too. And larva. I'm taking this too. Okay, empty frame. Start drawing that out. I've opened stuff up here. Balboa got another split. All right, no sign of swarming. Huge population. All right, they just got four empty frames and they're getting another medium super. I'm gonna put the excluder on. They're doing fine with it. Ugh. Look at that. I'm excited. All right, this is another Balboa splint right here. I got space for four more frames. What do you, what do you think? What should I do? Yeah, I got 27 days to kill. I wasn't gonna do this today, but I'm gonna do this today. Yeah, the excluder uh, excluded a lot of bees. They're all up here now. Let's take four frames out of here. This was the super heavy box, so let's... I saw the queen down below, so I'm gonna take, see if I can take a couple frames from up here first. This is a good resource frame. Okay. Little brood, capped honey. Frame of brood, that's going over. This is all ages of larva and eggs. All right, that's going in. Should probably shake some bees. I'm gonna shake this frame in. A couple empties. Okay, let's look on the bottom. I need one more frame to go in that resource hive. Our queen was right over here. I just want to make sure she's still there. It's a pollen frame. This is actually a really nice frame. Pollen and brood. That might be the one. Let's see if we see the queen on that frame again. And then if it is, I'm going to take this frame right over. There she is. Okay, queen's in the box. So I'm going to take this frame of pollen and some there's a little unhatched brood and a lot of pollen so it's a good resource frame with brood going into the resource hive all right let's put this all back together four new frames brand new super with no excluder there it is balboa new package did i tell you i got a new resource hive you know like just in case I'm really glad I had that. <laughs> I'm really glad I had it. All right, how do I summarize this day? Uh, kind of an emergency split. All right, let's start with the double medium Balboa split. I looked in there, I thought I saw eggs and then I didn't see any eggs. There was that big queen cell in there uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago now. So nothing in there yet. Could very well be out on a mating flight. I'm gonna give them another week before I start to panic. But, okay, the bees are fine, filled with resources, the population's up, but uh, no queen. Russian hive. The queen is, is laying up a storm, beautiful brood patterns in there. The hive is, is thriving and booming, but they have not touched the super. They should have had that super filled with honey so that the brood nest was more open for laying, but, you know, whatever. Remove the queen excluder, and hopefully they move up and we start seeing some action up in the super on the Russians. All right, let's skip over to Balboa, open Balboa up. The super was completely solid, capped, honey, beautiful, perfect soup. Went down into the brood box. Every single cell that had hatched out recently was filled with nectar. So they were just backfilling everything with nectar because there was no place to put the honey. I got down to the lower brood box and there was actually a couple frames that were being drawn out. So there was a, there was a little space to lay, but up where Balboa wanted to be laying, up in the middle in the upper box, was jammed with nectar. 
So, decided to do a split. So I've been wanting to do another round of splits for a while, and my goal was to get them done in the first week of July. It's 26, 27 days for a laying queen. So the idea is if I do a split around the first week of July, I will have a laying queen around the first week of August, which is when you want a laying queen in a hive, because they're gonna, they're, she's gonna lay bees for the winter in August. So the goal was do a split around July 1st to July 7th-ish, and then you get them to build up in the nuke, in the resource hive, throughout the flow of August and September. Now, I don't know if those nukes would have built up enough to put into a box for the winter, but my, my other goal was to try and overwinter some nukes this year. I wanna just give it a try. See if I can overwinter one or two resource hives with bees and just wrap them up and get them to survive the winter and start off in the spring with, you know, a number of nukes to get started. So that was the goal, and that's why I wanted to do splits around the first, around the first week of July. So I did it. Tomorrow's July 1st. So there it is. So new package hive is just unbelievably slamming. Balboa is really amazingly slamming. It, it's just a really good year. I mean, I, I, this is my third year and I've never had anything like this. I, I've never seen a flow before like this. So, you know, things are great. In other news, this is a field planted with buckwheat, sunflowers, buckwheat, and two, two types of clover over there. There's about an acre right here. So the theory behind this was this was going to get us through our July dearth. I'm, I was a little late in planting it, so it's probably not going to be flowering until the end of July, but uh, they, they are packed right now. Things are, things are good. So I, I don't know. We're not really going to, we're not in a dearth at all. Things are good right now. When this starts to flower, that's going to be, you know, a little mini flow, which will get us through to all this is goldenrod in here. So we have the next couple of months pretty sorted with flowers if, if you know, everything goes well. And uh, fingers crossed for queen in that little medium. And end of July, last week of July, this resource hive will hopefully have two laying queens. And then the next step is to get all the nukes into full-size boxes. So they're all four over four frames right now. They'll be going into eight frame deep boxes. So no additional frames, just drop down to a single box, regular size hive. That's coming up. Yeah, things are, things are pretty good. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this heat.